Hello. On this week's uh, Safely Delivered Post, we are with Advon Haynes Davis and discussing a selection of paintings to be offered in our Welsh sale auction on July the 24th. The first painting we'd like to discuss is this rather special oil painting by Sir Cuffin Williams. What do you think oh, of this, Avon? Oh, absolutely amazing. But before we, we talk about this, can I ask you, you must be somewhat surprised with the quality and quantity of uh, entries into this sale, considering there was a Welsh sale just a couple of months ago. What, what, what's happening with Welsh art at the moment? I think people are recognising that the market is very vibrant and um, with these unusual times in the background people are um, having a big big sort out rather than selling a couple of paintings. So, so what we're finding is that um, collections are coming in rather than individual paintings and um, so, so uh, in, in July's Welsh sale we've got a very large entry of works, um, not just of Cuffin but all kinds of artists, all kinds of compositions. Um, it's looking like a very interesting sale, looking like a very special sale um, with a huge eclectic range of pictures. And, and if you are thinking of buying, wow, I mean this is something very, very special, isn't it? I mean, I'm, I promise I'll only use the word once, but I'm going to use it here. This is iconic Cuffin Williams, isn't it? It, it, it is iconic. Um, it's a real stunner. Uh, I, I think the, the special elements are all there. You've got the farmer and the sheepdog. Yeah. You've got a chapel taking centre stage and the whole panoramic village. Uh, this is actually called Ross Collin, Capel Ross Collin. Uh, Ross Collin being a village in Anglesey, um, Cuffin's birthplace of course. Um, iconic is the word. Um, it's got the holy trinity of sheepdog, farmer and chapel. Uh, it, it, it is the holy trinity. I, I, I remember reading once that Cuffin was asked why did he think his paintings were so popular and um, he said that basically um, he painted what he loved and that his mountains, farmhouses, farmers, chapels were the people who were buying chapels, farmhouses as well and they represented that. They represented what they knew and represented what they loved and this is a prime example uh, of that. I, I actually, looking at it from this angle, um, really like the cinemascope uh, size of it as well. It's a panoramic view of, uh, of Ross Collin with the uh, with a chapel there, which is uh, which is wonderful. Uh, to me, from an artistic point of view, it's the colours. They're so vibrant, they're bright. It's it's as if it was straight from Cuffin's uh, studio. It's been so well kept and looked after. It's in absolute superb condition and and quite a bit lighter than what we're used to as well with uh, with Cuffin. Uh, we we hear often that. Um Cuffin's work is perhaps synonymous with dark and, and gloom, but the, the colours are just incredible. They're, they're, there's lime greens and there's all kind of vibrant greens and browns. It, it, it's, it's not gloomy at all, it's, it's alive with colour. I think the word you pick, uh, are picking up on there is popular, and he, Cuffin was always um, regarded as the popular artist, or Wales's best loved artist, but one word that perhaps is not used enough with Cuffin is important. Um, and possibly part of the reason of that is that what he painted, this sort of soul of Wales, if you like, the sheepdog, the farmer, the chapel, and this generational village is sort of changing before us, you know, and Ross Collin itself has become a tourist place. Um, certainly if you drove up there um, in the middle of summer, you wouldn't find a farmer and sheepdog, you'd more likely be stuck behind a caravan. The, the, the demographic yeah. has changed and, yeah. and, and, and as it does so, I think Cuffin yeah. is going to be regarded more importantly. I mean, to me, the, this is, I'd say, a museum piece. I mean, during the past 10, 15 years, I've seen quite a few Cuffin Williams oil paintings here at Rogers Jones and uh, 
this would be in my top three. It has to be in the top that. three, yeah, 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 it has. We, we sold Fox Hunt, which had the, the sequence of yeah. farmers coming over the mountain top with their sheepdogs, and, and we had the iconic, that word again, yeah. Penryn Deer yeah, Farm. That was the, those are the two, yes, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, it's certainly top three, um, it, it, it is really up there. And I, I think, and we, we both follow the market, it's one of the best oils to come onto the best cuffing oils to come onto the market for in any auction house for some time um, it's um, hugely commercial uh, hugely appealing and an important cuffing Williams so Avon this is the second um, painting we picked out from the Welsh sale um, forthcoming on July the 24th now it's another chapel. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the painting that we've just discussed, which was Capel Ross Collin, um, guess where this one is? Uh, I think it's, it's almost as if there's a Methodist revival going on in, uh, in Ross Collin, but uh, oh yes, that's, uh, this is another one that, that is absolutely stunning. And, the, the chapel taking taking over the painting, but I, I must admit, my, my eye, first of all, dare I say, being the son of the man, so I shouldn't, but it's the wall. I mean, it's almost as if as much care and craftsmanship has gone into um, painting and, and with a palette knife. As I'm talking, I'm just noticing, watching it from the side, how thick the paint is on this. I mean, this is uh, absolutely superb, running out of adjectives. This chapel with, with Cuffin, uh, I think it was called Sion, is absolutely superb. And once again, um, a fair bit lighter than what we sometimes see with, uh, with Cuffin. The colour of the field is, is really yeah. vibrant, isn't it? Um, I love the colour of the sky, it's difficult to really um, put your finger on what colour that is, but it, it really works and it's almost a, a sandwich of colour with this slate grey chapel and the slate grey houses. There's an honesty which I feel in a lot of, of Cuffin's paintings, it, it is honest, you know, that the, the, the skies, a lot of people, oh, they're all, you know, they're, they're a bit dark, a bit dreary, a bit damp. Well, it's it's my Wales, unfortunately. Indeed. A, a, a huge coincidence is the same chapel. The, the, yes. painting, the painting was actually consigned from a client in Anglesey, um, whereas the other Capel Ross column was um, consigned from a, a client in the Gower. So they've come from different... Um, uh, corners of the country, but um, of the same chapel. I, I like the um, sort of. Uh, I like the typical telegraph pole that we see. Yeah. That we see in many of his village scenes. Yeah. I also like this little dash of light here coming through a gate. It's a lovely composition with a tiny little bit of magic, isn't it? Fantastic picture. You can almost hear the the, the hymns being sung there, can't you? you in the can. distance, you can. So Arvon, this is Bryn Cader Vaner by Sir Cuffin Williams. Bryn Cader Vaner is a, uh, an ancient um, stone circle located not far from Trowsbynydd and Harlech in North Wales. Um, very different in the colours um, to the first two pictures we've looked at. Um, but there is a symbolic similarity in terms of the monument that he's painted, yeah. whereas chapels were the centre stage of the first two. This is a, an ancient monument um, which would have drawn worshippers in the Bronze Age. So I think Cuffin was all about the land and the connection to him personally and to the Welsh people of the land. And this is, this is another timeline, but it is, it is the same thing as the chapel. Yeah, t t talking of the, the religious connection, your eye almost immediately gets taken to that stone in the middle, which is almost like an altar. And, and also the shapes of the, the, the stones. Cuffin was um, quite often visit these ancient burial sites and, uh, and, uh, and paint, but it was almost his love of sculptures and shapes that uh, drew him there. I know that uh, 
in his uh, in his garden in Port Van Orgel. He's very proud of his sculptures and um, genuinely thought that the sculptor was the true artist. He often would would say that. I and mean, what I love about this, as as much as the uh, the stones and the the composition is the sky. I mean, uh, not using that word again, but uh, typical <laughs> uh, Cuffin Williams sky, and would use it so often, and you could sort of um, exchange the, the bottom half of the painting with rough sea at Treyarde Bay, and it would be that sky. And once again, it's uh, it's my. North Wales sky rather than the, the blue and the sun and once again you can just see how that uh, palette knife plastered the paint on it and how cleverly he's uh, he's made that one stone in the middle there the, the, the focal point. I love the drama in this work um, very very impressive. So Arvon, another Cuffin, but um, something entirely different. Um, Cuffin was obviously known primarily as a landscape painter, but boy, could he paint portraits as well. What do you think of this? Oh, well, I agree with you that, that there is a school of thought that he was as good a portrait artist as he was a landscape artist, and some I know think uh, an even better portrait artist. I, I absolutely love this one. I think it, it's uh, superb. I mean, it sounds odd to say this, but to me, it's 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 a painting more than a. A portrait, and I believe there's um, a connection between uh, the, the young lad Willie and um, Cuffin because of epilepsy. That, that's correct, because Cuffin famously was an epileptic, and yeah. um, it was epilepsy really that changed the course of his life. Um, and Willie Lee was an Anglesey boy who we believe um, attended the same um, epileptic group support group uh, and that's how they met and that's how he came to paint his portrait. It's not a commissioned work, it, he painted it because of the charm of the boy that he wanted to capture something about him and I think this is something that would grace a Welsh art collection. It, it, it certainly wasn't intended to be uh, hung on the wall of Willie Lee's family. This is a, this is a painting for commercial use and um, um, I love it. I think. Um, the way that Cuffin paints portraits with pa a palette knife is just incredible. What what skill it involves, and um, um, it's almost 3D. That palette knife and that confident strokes and bold um, expression here really makes it 3D. It's a real super painting. So we've gone from what we would regard as typical Cuffin wheels with the chapels. Uh, to the standing stones, to the portraits. Um, now on to this one. Now this is from earlier in Cuffin's career and while many might not recognise it as typically Cuffin, it, was, it is quite typical in its style from his early period, isn't it? It's almost, uh, I, I'd say, well the early 60s, but it's almost a bit of the transition period from brush to palette because I can definitely see some uh, brush strokes as well as the palette there. But um, as you say, unusual in the fact it's very, very busy. Yes, that's which right. Which you don't normally find with, um, with cuffing paintings of a, a, a scene such as this. You'd be, uh, you'd expect um, Donald McIntyre maybe uh, to, to be painting uh, something like this with you know four or five boats and uh, but 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 he's got the the black lining around the rocks which is very very typical of um, of fifties uh, work actually as well and the uh, I'm not sure if it's the Harbour Master's house but quite prominent there. Uh, this is so. This is Chemice Bay, which of course is Anglesey, not a part of Anglesey that is synonymous with Cuffin. Actually, um, there seem to it seems to be a territory for other artists, but um, and also boats. We don't see many boats, no. uh, fishing boats in Cuffin's work, do we? 
Um, but as you say, this is a transition piece really where um, Cuffin was moving in a certain direction and some of the colours remain in his later work but you're spot on, I think it's very busy. When we say busy, we mean lots of small detail um, um, creating a, 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 a very textured finish to the painting. This is, this is very unlike his later work. Around here is very unlike his later work. Um, but stylistically, quite typical of this period for Cuffin, um, but slightly different in terms of the subject matter, I think. As you say, it's quite detailed and also quite precise, but I was surprised as to how precise he was with things, because some, some of his drawings, for example, that were done in situ or plain air, and um, you think, well, he'd finish, but he'd finish a lot of them off, and the detail, you look at the roofs and the chimneys. It is, uh, and, and the colours are fantastic. I mean, if you, if, you, if, you, if you look at the sky above here, there is a, it's a, no. slate, a battleship grey no. sky that perhaps is slightly darker at the top and, and lighter at the horizon, and then you've got these slate greys here, um, very Welsh colours, very um, earthy, um, Penring Quarry colours, yeah. and, um, and, and, and these greens, which are, are quite typical of Cuffin. Um, the colours you can see are very much Cuffin. It, it's, it's the composition that is different. Um, and, and the style, because I think, you, I think you're right, he, he's used paintbrush and he's used palette. Later on he was just using palette knife, so um, it's a very interesting painting and very, very pleasing to the eye, I would say. Mm -hmm. Well, Alvon. Um, <coughs> Wow. <laughs> yes. Um, last but certainly not least um, is this monumental oil on canvas by Kevin Sinnott, um, the boxing match. And um, what a work. Well, I know you've had some large Kevin Sinnott uh, canvases before, but this one, I mean, I, I think if I went further back, I'd be in the car park. It's uh, absolutely stunning, M most impressive, isn't it? And um, it's actually as impressive being as close to it as we are now, as it is from about, well, you have to be about 10 foot uh, away. Well, what's the story of a boxing match uh, somewhere? I, uh, well, so it, it's, a, yeah, it's, what, it's from um, Kevin Sinnott's uh, history series and uh, was used actually in the opening of his gallery, um, Gallery 18, which is up in um, Ponte Camer, um in 2016. It's, it's obviously a, a, a boxing scene with um, a pre-war or early 20th century boxing scene with crowds of people who've come down to watch the bout and there's all kinds of characters within the crowds. We've got um, some ladies of the night. Well, she, uh, she, I, I have to mention her because it's not the boxing match. From where I'm standing, uh, from where I'm standing, I, th I think that's Polly Garter. She's up on a day trip from under Milkwood and uh, I love her, yes. She's always a, a bright purple dress, it's lovely isn't it? Yeah. And there's another one just by your knees down oh, there yeah, yeah. Um, and you can see her <laughs> knees quite clearly. And um, you've got um, the gypsy boys on the horses there, you've got the mother cradling her baby away from the, the action. Um, you've got a farmer with his lamb there, um, all kinds of symbolic characters there and um, of course then you've got this panorama of the South Wales Valley. The red mountain almost looks like Ayers Rock doesn't it? It's a, it's a uh, monumental, exciking, dynamic painting. T talk about Kevin Sinner for, for a moment. Whenever I've been here on a preview day, um, there's an awful lot of interest in his work uh, at the moment and uh, in my opinion, uh, a lot of it with the younger generation uh, as well. 
I think, I think the paintings are real talking points, aren't they? They've got they've got a wow factor. I know that there are two artists working in Wales at the moment who I would consider to be the most important two painters uh, in Wales, and that would be Shani Rhys James and Kevin Sinnott. And and um, both um, painted big paintings with splashes of bright colour, but also figurative work. Um, so, uh, so obviously there's an appeal there. Um, both these artists are very popular with a, a younger demographic. Um, I mean, to have this picture on your trendy Cardiff Bay apartment or your barn conversion in the Vale, wherever that might be, it's a talking point and it's exciting. And you would walk into that room and you'd see something different in the painting every time. Um, it's, a, it's a fantastic piece. I, I, I wonder how long it took him to, to paint. Well, Ben, I totally agree with you. As you said at the start, eclectic choice. It is incredible, not just paintings, but prints as well. I'm amazed. And prints doing very well at auction at the, at the moment as well. And it's all on July the 24th, I believe. Saturday, July the 24th. It will be online to view um, early July. On our website, um, we have our own live bidding platform. Um, there are no bidders in the room at the moment due to the current circumstances, but you can bid for free without extra charge on our own uh, website. And um, the sale, the Welsh sales should be available to view in early July, the sales on July the 24th. And um, I, I would like to say also that we're very proud that our Welsh sale offers something for everyone, not just in terms of taste, but also of price point. Um, lots can start at £100 um, all the way up to £50,000. There really is something for everybody.